So for over a decade, Jan Wallen has worked with thousands of business to business consultants, coaches, and speakers to raise their fees and revenues. They master the five simple steps to the income they want and gain the confidence to raise their fees without losing their clients. And Jan combines her corporate account, executive and sales mentoring experience with the art and science of persuasion. She is known for getting extraordinary results fast, faster than with traditional methods with tools that to go tools to go from start to finish fast. Her insights are sought after and sourced by publications and media, including NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox News, Business News Daily, and the Business Insider, and other podcasts like my very own Rainier Avenue Radio uh, Shattering the Glass Ceiling show. Welcome to the stage, Jan. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be uh, glad to be here. Fantastic. This is such an amazing. It's an amazing summit you're putting on and happy, especially on your birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Have you ever thought of raising your fees? Maybe you're afraid of rejection or you're afraid you might lose clients if you raise your fees. Or maybe you don't know what to say. You're Join the club. I hear that a lot. It's, it's not easy and comfortable to raise your fees, especially alone. So if you've reached a revenue glass ceiling or your business isn't going quite as well as you want with your with your fees, it is doable to raise your fees. It's not easy or comfortable, it certainly is doable, and that's what I'm going to show you about now. I'm Jan Wallen. Bettina told you something about me. I've been working for more than 12 years with business to business coaches, consultants, and speakers to raise their fees and revenue. I've had corporate sales experience, that's where I started. And then I also worked for a large global consulting firm buying professional services. So I've worked with consultants and coaches and speakers who want to provide services to corporations and companies. So I've combined all that and the results I help my clients achieve is raising their fees. Clients who work with me raise their fees as much as 25% as soon as the next time they talk to a client about fees. And when I'm not working with my wonderful clients, I'm strategizing, have meeting new people, and I paint colorful watercolors in New York City. So take a look for a minute about your business. Take a look to, at today. You started your business to have a sustainable, profitable business so you can serve your clients in your area of expertise. Put your kids through school, retire at some point, have time for yourself, and not be stressed and worried all the time. Let me ask you a question. Is that happening for you now the way you want? Imagine a whole new world of possibilities. Clients call you because you're the expert and they know it. And you know you have a sustainable, profitable business. Confidence comes from knowing. So take a minute and jot some notes down here about what would it look like for you to have that freedom and sustainable, profitable business time for yourself, time with your family, knowing you'll be able to spend time with your family, even going on vacations and retire at some point. Write some notes down now and I ask you to keep on adding to that list. Our approach of raising our fees or doing new things doesn't always work. The easy answer is the one we often default to, do it ourselves, do it yourself. Have you thought of raising your fees before? Thought you could figure out a way to do it? Have you raised your fees? It's not easy to do it alone. It's a lot easier with guidance, support, accountability, and a community. Insanity is doing the same things and expecting different results. One of my clients called me and said that she had a meeting coming up with a company the company called her and wanted her to work with them on a project. 
and she really wanted to work with the company and that project. However, the compensation wasn't as high as she wanted it to be. She asked me if I could help her through that fee conversation meeting. So I said, sure. We worked together. We decided the best way to approach the company and the person in that meeting. And then how exactly to say she wanted higher fees. Then we practiced it in person until she was comfortable saying it. Well, she called me two days later and said she had the meeting. She stepped up at the meeting, asked for the higher fees and got it. That's how it works. It's not something you do easily on your own. So think a minute, what if, what if you do something new? What if clients come to you because they know you're the expert at getting results? Have you tried everything out there or are you tired of hearing of everything out there? Do more marketing. Here's a sales script that'll work. Oh, create an online course or those seven figure quick business programs, funnels and the tech, all of it. Are they working? Raising your fees really is doable. When you break it down into five simple steps, it becomes quite straightforward. That's why I decided to create my value framework. That's the five simple steps. Each of the steps starts with one of these letters and we're talking about value. Also, it's easy to remember. If there's one thing you take away from today, make it this. When you talk about outcomes, your income goes up. You can quote me on that. Write it down. When you talk about outcomes, your income goes up. One way to do that is in your elevator speech. A lot of elevator speeches talk about who you work with and what those people want. So if I were to say that, I would say I work with consultants, coaches, and speakers who want to raise their fees. Well, that doesn't say anything about the results I get with my clients. It's the same with yours. So make a note to look at your elevator speech. You can even send it to me if you want. So when you talk about outcomes, your income goes up. So how do you get started? First thing, go to my website, raiseyourfees.com slash yes. Download my special report on objections. You know, if you do raise your fees and your client says, oh, that's too high, you'll know exactly what to say. And then get going raising your fees. So also immediately in my book, you can learn about objections more in detail. That's on page 88. And also the top three things to do first when you decide to raise your fees and the one thing never to do. That's on 25, page 25. And what exactly to add to your elevator speech so clients say, oh, when can we start? Instead of, well, I'll think about it. So raising your fees is a huge success. It's a life-changing decision because it opens doors to be able to do it again. The best part, you're serving your clients in the best way possible and creating the business and life you really want, a sustainable, profitable business. Here's how you can contact me. You can go to my website, raiseyourfees.com, contact me by email, or download the report at raiseyourfees.com slash yes. Another thing, I do invite you to join my community. It's all people who want to raise their fees. So everyone's doing it together and helping each other and collaborating on how to do that. You can find it on Facebook. It's called Raise Your Fees Without Losing Clients or the QR code takes you directly there. I do invite you to decide to raise your fees and start today. I have a philosophy that I practice, Jan, that goes, <laughs> if you, uh, you only get in life what you have courage to ask for. Uh more. And have, if you're not doing that, you're not 
scaring yourself enough either. So it is a little scary, but it is a choice. It is a decision and you're mm -hmm. the lady leading the way. So thank you so much for doing that and helping folks go from probably making less than they really deserve and put some zeros on it. Yes. <laughs> put some zeros on it. Bettina, zeros on. Bettina, you're telling the truth and she's right. Uh, just, I can just tell you as a speaker, when I was speaking for a couple hundred bucks an event, people had me running all around town. Yeah. But when I changed that, when I changed those and added more zeros, yeah, I may not have been running around as much, but I was getting what I was worth. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's better to get what you're worth than to, to feel like they're cutting into the bone because there's always some kind of negativity that seeps out if you, if you allow that to happen. Right. That's right. And the, the other thing really quickly, it's a funny thing about confidence. It's backwards from the way we think. We think we need confidence before we do something big and new and scary. Confidence comes from doing it. So the first time CL, the first time you raised your fees, it was probably harder than the next time. And right. the next time was easier and the next time. Yeah, I mean, I, I charge a million dollars a speech now, so I'm good. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> and, you know, it's so interesting. The, the, you know, when you know your number and mm -hmm. uh, you ask for it, oftentimes people will meet you right there. Yep. So why not raise your fees? Thank you so much, Jan.